Damn, bro. But look at that. We got all strapped up over here. We got it. Well, lady guys. Lady fish is in there. We got the lady fish in there. It literally looks just like Gizzard Chad. White perch. Thank you to Shimbersky for hooking us up with a bait. What's going on, Catamaran and Catter women? Welcome back to Kevin's Catamaran Adventures. It is day three now? Day three. Day three of the South Carolina adventure, and today, well, tonight, we're gonna go fishing on the Cooper River for blue catfish. I've never fished the Cooper River before. Ellis hasn't either. Nope. And we've heard that down on the Cooper, though, the state record was caught in the river. Now, I don't know if it was a different time of the year, when it made the blue cats come up, but I know that there are blue cabbage in the Cooper. We're gonna explore that. We're gonna see if we can catch something. Stay tuned. Let's go. I gotta burp. Some old major fart. All right, well, we've got the rods over here. Everything looks fine. The guy told me over there in the desk, so they tried to make sure they would take good care of it, and they were given specific notes to make sure that this bag was well taken care of. So thank you, Amshack, for that. I do appreciate that part of this journey. Now, <laughs> there's another twist to this story that I put a lock on this case, and uh, I forgot to bring the keys with me for the lock. So we're gonna have to get some bolt cutters. We're gonna have to cut this lock off so we can finally get the treasure inside. <laughs> but uh, I think the first thing now is for us to head to the Cooper River. guys well since the lock is on that bag of fishing rods and we need those fishing rods next up now is to put the lock to use <laughs> like a traditional Spanish man of course of course the, the blade on him too man real Puerto Rican man real Puerto Rican man your dad would be proud yes, he okay would be. now let's see the moment of truth this is the bolt this is the, the lock right down here yep. all right ready yep Alright, we study okay. that. Yep. One, two, three. Yes! yes! Tore it on open. Uh-huh. There you go, guys. Okay, we don't need this now. <laughs> yep. No, no, what the heck are you doing, bro? Put that back over there. Put that thing in my hand. Okay, so now at least we can open it. So you want to open up the guide case and be careful. There's fishing reels in there in a plastic bag. Let's yeah. see how everything looks, because I'm a little anxious. Yeah, I'm surprised it took that right off. Here we go. Are the, all the rods and reels looking? They feel fine. Open the bag up. All the reels are looking good. Ellis, here's my gift to you. Thank you, kind sir. Cast King Rover. Woo! Look at that thing. We're gonna put some braid on it too. I brought some 65 pound braid. 65 pound braid? Yep. And a rod too. And let's see, where's the rod that I brought for you? Here it is. Everything is in perfect shape, dude. Nothing got damaged. They took good care of the rods. 
I mean... Well, Amtrak, thank you so much. That's the one thing you guys did well, and I'm very, very, very happy with that. Your sins have been atoned. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, well, we got the rods. Let's get to fishing for some kitty cats. Horrible. Okay, wait, I'm filming, dude. I don't care. You I'm filming. No, so, but don't say it like that. Okay, that's good. I did I did fart, guys. I'm very sorry. It smells terrible after here. Those nachos were so <laughs> worth it, though. We just helped a lady try to jumpstart a car, but it didn't work. So now we're finally going to be on the road to fish. I'm so itching for this. We picked up a bunch of osium and, uh... Dude, my camera! Ah! I got you in the lap. Well, we tried fishing here at the Cooper River. We got no bites on our either pieces of ladyfish. So we were, th you know, we're thinking right now, we're gonna drive about an hour northeast. We're gonna try to fish the PD River. Now the great PD River is supposed to have amazing blue cat fishing. So we're gonna see if maybe we can get lucky and get on a couple of big blue cats over there. First we gotta charge the phone, gotta get our stuff together. Mine's right, maybe pick up a coffee along the way because I think coffee is gonna be very necessary. And we'll take it from there. We can turn around over here. This is no big deal. I'm just gonna go straight. I'm telling you, it ended here. like eight minutes onto our route. That's fine. No! We wanna fish! <laughs> well, guys, uh, we took a wrong turn. It got really confusing. We are in the boonies of South Carolina. We are like literally two hours almost away from Charleston, up north. And uh, I mean, the PD River is supposed to have great catfishing. We got bait for days. The only thing is that Ellis is deathly afraid of taking a turn and a turnaround in somebody's driveway because the reasoning is they can legally shoot us and they will kill us. Yep, and they'll be perfectly protected by the law. They have a trigger figure, finger that is so itchy and they are waiting to use it the second that they bought. Oh, someone's in the parking lot. I can legally kill this guy. I mean, it does look a little creepy here. I'm not going to lie, just being out here in the dark, but it's always like that when you've got lights on and everything else is dark. It's just very different. We're out in the countryside, guys. Like, I'm I'm not used to this, you know? I feel like it's city boy almost over here, but it's kind of cool. Creepily cool, like kind of weird cool. In 800 um, feet, turn right to stay on Petersfield Landing Road. Thank you, Google. We appreciate your help. But there's- Take the next right to stay on Petersfield Landing Road. Google, you're not helping. Well, guys, we're here. You probably can't make that out too well over here, but that is actually a power generating station. There's a canal over here that dumps out water from the PD River into this canal. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's pretty crazy. There's tons of water just churning through here. And this is probably used for farming. Pretty interesting. All right, and over here, that is the power generating station right over here and the train cart. And further over there is the river, which is where we're gonna head next with our fresh, delicious lady fish baits. You know it. Stoked, bro. Stoked. 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 We are literally in the countryside. Ellis has never been here before, and we do feel a little out of our element, but that's what this is all about. I got a knife. We're on the Great PD River, right in front of the generating station, on this dock with some cut pieces of lady fish that we found from a cold water fish kill. We've got the bait clickers on our Cast King Rovers right here. These beauties over here. And uh, hopefully we're gonna kill it, you know? Did it open? Yeah. All right, guys, we've been fishing here all night. We've had shad out. We've had ladyfish out. We've had white perch out. And we had one bite, and that was it. And that was even a questionable bite. But I did get to catch a sunfish in a cast net, so that was pretty cool, because we actually saw a fish, so I feel very accomplished. Other than that, I really think that, especially with the way that the weather patterns have been lit lately, it's really thrown the catfishing off in this river. But I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous water body if you look at it. Yeah, so uh, what's the plan now, Ellis? Uh, drive back an hour and a half and get three hours of sleep and then do this all over again. <laughs> That's, like what the real about, That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. know it. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, what for an interesting adventure today. I mean, we, we threw everything at these catfish. Clearly they were not in the mood to bite. Uh, I didn't film it because I felt it wasn't right to do it with an elderly man that was here duck hunting early. He came by, I talked to him real quick. He was like, yeah, this is a great fishing spot for blue cats. But uh, lately, you know, they've been in the deep holes. So instead, you know, we were trying over here, seeing if we could get into deep hole. But yeah, supposedly it's a good blue catfish fishery. We just aren't here in the right time. We're going to see maybe in a couple of days if it's going to heat up a little bit more. We're going to see maybe we can catch some fish then. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Catamaran adventure full of laugh, giggles, and farts, <laughs> like and subscribe. Let me know also what you guys might have done differently compared to what we did. All right, guys, we'll stay tuned for the next Catamaran adventure. I will see you guys in two days. Catamaran out! Alice out! The glory of Maharashtra is the reason why behind this vlog. We on our way back now, very tired. It been long day of fishing, but we no catch no fish, no catfish. Baby, Baby goats, goats, just like in Odessa. Baby goats, I like them. Baby Odessa, goats. where Odessa, comrade? You oh, it's a truck. I, I don't like Americans. Americans, Americans drive and their pickup trucks. Do you see Confederate oh, flag? I saw Confederate flag. I, I do not like this, oh, Dimitri. <laughs> I do not like this. <laughs>